Hello everyone, my name is Christopher. In this video, I will explain some advanced psychological reasoning behind you choosing certain characters at every stage of your life. We will speak about masculine versus feminine characters and draw parallels within the family. I will speak about good versus evil. I will speak about hero versus villain. We'll talk about biochemistry and more. This video is not scripted. I guess I would have to freestyle it and hopefully by the end of it you will say holy Chris you literally said everything right about me. Let's get started. The first thing we'll go for is masculine versus feminine characters and then if you if you'd look at fundamental um, reasoning behind roles in Overwatch you'll quickly realize that it's very very close to nature you have a father figure a masculine figure why am I why am I pointing at Doomfist I have no idea let's take Reinhardt as your uh, father figure a masculine role your role is to protect your tribe to protect your family and village from saber tooths your role is to take care provide defend and your role is when necessary sacrifice your comfort and maybe sacrifice your life so your family can live on on the other hand you have feminine type of characters and these are the types of characters that are there to protect the children right they care about their life and they care about the life of their children by the way children is right here yeah every single dps character fundamentally speaking is a child i'm gonna elaborate that in the future so you are there to make sure that your children and your tank right let's your dps and your tank are healthy well fed comfortable and active and happy this is exactly what every single one of those supports are doing except Ilari and moira because they are evil as well as if you'd look at every single evil character on the tank roster you will quickly realize that they really don't want to protect and provide and they go and kind of do their own stuff which is also incredibly interesting when it comes to the dps role of course you have very very different concepts of characters but overall you want to have both of your feminine figure in family and masculine figure together because if you don't have a tank you don't have the space to work with you don't have the lighthouse that's shining bright in a heavy storm you are lost in life you don't know what to do and perhaps you will drift away from your natural path this is exactly what you see with single mother households where kids are doing all kinds of bad stuff uh, from being criminals to uh, i'm not gonna continue what else is there to this topic mm. It's interesting to see that uh, the characters, the tank characters that are evil, look like a dad that went to the grocery store to buy some milk and then never came back. Doomfist is never about protecting your team directly, but instead you are going in the back line and doing your own kind of stuff, and perhaps as a result, uh, your DPS and supports are feeling safe, but outside of that, I'm not exactly sure. Notice how when you draw parallels between um, heroes and villains, heroes typically are playing together as a team. As a Reinhardt, I want to communicate. As a Reinhardt, I want to collaborate with my teammates. But when I'm playing with Wrecking Ball, which is canonically an evil character, I don't exactly care about them. I'm playing alone, I'm more of a lone wolf, and it's interesting, it's very interesting. You can draw same parallels with um, DPS characters that are evil. I highly doubt that everyone can say that Reaper is extremely team dependent. I highly doubt you can say the same about Sombra or Widowmaker. But when you look at Mei, of course, you are a hero and you like 
you really enjoy working as a team. This is why you have like Reinhardt plus May, but you never have Widowmaker plus Doomfist. I mean, you can kind of have it, but they don't have synergy and their goals are completely different. The same goes for Ilari and Moira. If I feel like I want to protect my team, if I feel like I want to support my team and take care of them, I go for Anna, which is a very kind character. I go for Brig, which is a very kind character, loving, supportive, life weaver. When I don't care about my team, I go Ilari or I go Moira. This is a very, very interesting concept because it has direct correlation with how you feel about the world, how angry you are at the world. Because, and just like with DPS, you know, man, every single time I feel nice when playing DPS, I, I want to go soldier and I ask for a mercy pocket, whether through like Discord servers or in-game, because I really want to feel that connection. I want to feel happy. I want to feel warm. I want to feel um, like well-fed. When I am angry at the world, I go Widowmaker. When I'm angry at the world, I go uh, Sombra. When I'm angry at the world, I go Junkrat. And I just, I just don't care. Man, this is, these insights are actually crazy. And when I'm referring to masculine or feminine, I'm not speaking about men or women. I speak about all of them because your biochemistry can change with time and men can be both masculine and feminine and women can be both masculine and feminine. But at the same time, I highly doubt you have ever seen a truly masculine person playing Mercy. Especially if they are angry at the world, they would just go Ilari, they would just go Moira, right? When Mercy, it's it's very interesting, when your Mercy player, when your Mercy um, girl that's pocketing you is being completely bullied by the dive tanks, evil dive tanks, she turns evil as well and plays Moira. This is a concept that I see all the time. It is very interesting. Maybe this is... <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm speaking complete nonsense here, but I like it. I like it. I'm having fun doing this. Interesting. Is there anything I need to say here? Uh, the villain kind of hero concept, right? Mm, we already spoke about it. Biochemistry as well. Interesting. So... Yeah, this is exactly what your main says about you. Again, let's try to summarize all of that. If you are playing a good, a kind tank, you want to protect, you want to provide, you want to make sure that your kids and mother, or like the mother-wife, are healthy, they are well-fed, the cyber-tooths are not um, surrounding the cave, and they are protected from a very dangerous outworld like the terra incognita and then if you don't care you just play dive tank you are not ready to take on the responsibility you are not ready to go for um <laughs> go for the tank uh role things ah oh, another interesting thing that i wanted to speak about is who would you more likely to see as your um mm, like, as your player on a certain role, yeah, this is what I was trying to say, but kinda mm, got lost in my thought process. So when it comes to tanks, of course, you have masculine men for most of the time. I'm not saying that um, a woman, a feminine woman, would feel very bad playing the tank. Sure, she can try it for a few games, but playing tank requires you to endure overwhelming amounts of stress requires you to be a leader and you just don't have that in nature to be honest and your biochemistry is not gonna allow you to uh, get into a certain role so every single time you see a feminine woman play tank it's either she gonna quit playing the role and start playing feminine type of characters or she would become a lot more masculine. And again, there is nothing wrong with that. I'm not against that. This is just nature. When it comes to dive tanks, I feel like people who play dive tanks are masculine men wannabe, but not exactly yet. Maybe I am completely wrong, but 
this is how I feel it. When it comes to supports, of course, majority of the feminine women that you meet in Overwatch are playing characters that like to care. Mercy, Life Weaver. Uh, they like to care. Kiri they like to play Kiriko, but not the DPS Kiriko, but the ones that ready to cleanse you, the ones that ready to, you know. And then you play Ana. But when you are getting angry at the world, there is always the Moira uh, kind of option for you and then when it comes to dps of course you have uh hit scans which are usually being played by mm, teenagers and dudes with very nice reaction times i highly doubt you will be able to see like a dad a 30 year old dad that's been playing um that's been playing tracer for example this just goes against mm, this just goes against my personal um be not beliefs but i've never seen that and even if i did it was not exactly uh great in particular because you know again your role requires you to uh, have a certain psychological state and if you are not in it uh, you will fail or you will get into that psychological state because like a reinhardt player really hates playing tracer just like a tracer player really hates playing reinhardt let me know in the comment section what do you think about all that nonsense see you in the next one take care